China Tom Mievel born 6 September 1972, is a British urban fantasy fiction author, essayist, comic book writer, socialist political activist and literary critic. He often describes his work as weird fiction and is allied to the loosely associated movement of writers called New Weird. Mievel has won numerous awards, including the Arthur C. Clarke Award thrice, the British Fantasy Award twice, Locus Awards for Best Fantasy Novel four times, and Best Science Fiction Novel and Best Novelette and Best Young Adult Book, as well as the Hugo, Kitchies, and World Fantasy Awards. Mievel is active in left-wing politics in the UK, and has previously been a member of the International Socialist Organisation US, and the short-lived International Socialist Network UK. He was formerly a member of the Socialist Workers' Party, and in 2013 became a founding member of Left Unity. He stood for Regent's Park and Kensington North for the Socialist Alliance in the 2001 UK general election, gaining 1.2% of votes cast. He published his PhD thesis on Marxism and international law as a book in 2005. During 2012-13 he was writer-in-residence at Roosevelt University in Chicago. He became a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature in 2015. Topic. Early life Born in Norwich, Mievel was brought up in Wilsdon and has lived in London since early childhood. He grew up with his sister Jemima and mother Claudia, a translator, writer and teacher. His parents separated soon after his birth, and he has said that he never really knew his father. They chose his first name, China, from a dictionary, looking for a beautiful name. By virtue of his mother's birth in New York City, Mievel holds dual American and British citizenship. Topic. Education Mievel attended Oakham School, a coeducational independent school in Oakham, Rutland, for two years. At the age of 18, in 1990, he taught English for a year in Egypt, where he developed an interest in Arab culture and in Middle Eastern politics. Mievel studied for a BA degree in social anthropology at Clare College, Cambridge, graduating in 1994, and gained both a master's degree and PhD in international relations from the London School of Economics in 2001. Mievel has also held a Frank Knox Fellowship at Harvard University. After becoming dissatisfied with the ability of postmodern theories to explain history and political events, he became a Marxist at university. A book version of his Ph.D. thesis, entitled Between Equal Rights, A Marxist Theory of International Law, was published in the UK in 2005 by Brill in their Historical Materialism series, and in the United States in 2006 by Haymarket Books. Topic literary influences Mievel has said he plans to write a novel in every genre. To this end, he has constructed an oeuvre that is indebted to genre styles ranging from classic American Western in Iron Council to Sea Quest in The Scar to Detective Noir in The City and the City, yet Mieville's works all describe fantastical or supernatural worlds or scenarios. Robert Hanks has discussed his work in relation to the categories of science fiction, of fantasy and of urban surrealism. Mievel has listed M. John Harrison, Michael de Larabaiti, Michael Moorcock, Thomas M. Dish, Charles Williams, Tim Powers, and J. G. Ballard as literary heroes. He has also frequently discussed as influences H. P. Lovecraft, Mervyn Peake, Ursula K. Le Guin, and Jean Wolfe. He has said that he would like his novels to be read for his imagined city New Crowbuzzin as Ian Sinclair does for London. Mievel has admitted that his books contain some allusions to Russian writers, including Andrei Platonov, Arkady and Boris Strugatsky, Yevgeny Voiskunsky and Izay Lukodanyev. Mievel played a great deal of Dungeons and & Dragons and similar role-playing games RPGs in his youth. He attributes his tendency to systematization of magic and theology to this influence. In his novel Perdido Street Station, he refers to characters interested only in gold and experience. The February 2007 issue of Dragon Magazine interpreted the world presented in his books according to Dungeons & Dragons rules. 
The Player's Handbook for the fifth edition of Dungeons & Dragons cited his novel Perdido Street Station as a source of inspiration for the game's designers. In 2010 Mievel made his first foray into writing for RPGs with a contribution to the Pathfinder role-playing game supplement Guide to the River Kingdoms. Mievel works to move fantasy away from J.R.R. Tolkien's influence, which he finds stultifying and reactionary. He once described Tolkien as the when on the ass of fantasy literature. Mievel has cited Michael de Larabaiti's Borable trilogy as one of his biggest influences. He wrote an introduction for the trilogy's 2002 reissue. The introduction was eventually left out of the book, but appears on de Larabaiti's website. Mievel is also indebted to Moorcock, having cited his essay Epic Pooh as the source upon which he is riffing or even simply cheerleading in his critique of Tolkien imitative fantasy. Despite this, he has praised Tolkien for his contributions to fantasy, especially in a 2009 blog post where he gave five reasons why Tolkien was praiseworthy. Mieville's left wing politics become evident in his writing, particularly in Iron Council, his third Balag novel, as do his theoretical ideas about literature. In several panel discussions at conventions about the relationship of politics and writing, he has opposed right wingers in heated arguments. He has, however, said, I'm not a leftist trying to smuggle in my evil message by the nefarious means of fantasy novels. I'm a science fiction and fantasy geek. I love this stuff. And when I write my novels, I'm not writing them to make political points. I'm writing them because I passionately love monsters and the weird and horror stories and strange situations and surrealism, and what I want to do is communicate that. But, because I come at this with a political perspective, the world that I'm creating is embedded with many of the concerns that I have. I'm trying to say I've invented this world that I think is really cool and I have these really big stories to tell in it and one of the ways that I find to make that interesting is to think about it politically. If you want to do that too, that's fantastic. But if not, isn't this a cool monster? Topic. Politics. Mievel has previously been a member of the International Socialist Organization US, and, until 13 March 2013, was also a member of the Socialist Workers' Party UK. He stood unsuccessfully for the House of Commons of the United Kingdom in the 2001 general election as a candidate for the Socialist Alliance, gaining 459 votes, i.e. 1.2%, in Regents Park and Kensington North, a Labour constituency. In January 2013, he emerged as a critic of the SWP's leadership and in March resigned over the leadership's handling of rape allegations against a SWP member. In August 2013, Mievel was one of nine signatories, along with fellow novelist and former children's laureate Michael Rosen, veteran filmmaker and socialist Ken Loach, academic Gilbert Achar, and general secretary of the campaign. For nuclear disarmament, Kate Hudson, of an open letter to the Guardian newspaper announcing the foundation of a new party of the left to be called Left Unity. The letter, which claims that labor policies on austerity and breaking of ties with trades unions amount to a final betrayal of the working class people it was founded to represent, states that Left Unity will be launched at a founding conference. In London on 30 November 2013 and will provide, as an alternative to labor, a party that is socialist, environmentalist, feminist and opposed to all forms of discrimination. In 2015, he was announced as one of the founding editors of a new quarterly, Salvage, with editor-in-chief Rosie Warren, editor Jamie Allenson and contributing editors Richard Seymour, Magpie Corvid and Charlotte Bentz. October, published in 2017, documents the dramatic events of the Russian Revolution. Jonathan Steele, reviewed it for The Guardian. Steele considers it an ideological though nuanced retelling, known as a left-wing activist. Mievel writes with the brio and excitement of an enthusiast who would have wanted the revolution to succeed. But he is primarily interested in the dramatic narrative, the weird facts, of the most turbulent year in Russia's history. Topic. Bibliography A comprehensive list of Mieville's work is available at the ISFDB.
Topic: Fiction. Topic: Ball Lag series. Perdido Street Station 2000. The Scar 2002. Iron Council 2004. Topic standalone novels King Rat 1998 ISBN 9780312890735 Unloon Dun 2007 9780230015869 The City and the City 2009 ISBN 9781405000178 Kraken 2010 ISBN 9780333989500 Town 2011 ISBN 9780230750760 Rail C2012 ISBN 9780230765108 Topic Novellas The Toyn 2002 This Census Taker 2016 the Last Days of New Paris 2016 ISBN 9780345543998 Topic Short Story Collections Looking for Jake 2005 The Apology Chapbook 2013 Three Moments of an Explosion Stories 2015 Topic. Children's picture books The Worst Breakfast 2016, co-written and illustrated by Zach Smith Topic. Comic books Hellblazer 1988, number 250. Holiday Special. Snow Had Fallen. Justice League 2011 number 23 3 dial E number 1 dial Q for cued dial H 2012-2013 topic other Pathfinder Chronicles Guide to the River Kingdoms 2010 with Elaine Cunningham Chris Promas and Steve Kenson Paizo Publishing Topic Nonfiction Topic Books Between Equal Rights A Marxist Theory of International Law two thousand five ISBN one nine three one eight five nine three three seven Red Planets Marxism and Science Fiction two thousand nine with Mark Bold Middletown, Khan, Wesleyan University Press. October, The Story of the Russian Revolution, 2017. Verso. A Spectre Haunting Europe, 2020. Topic. Essays. London's Overthrow, 2011. Reprinted in a shorter version as, Oh, London, You Drama Queen. The New York Times Magazine, the 1st of March, 2012, 42. Preface to a book not yet written nor disavowed. 2015. China Mieville, Critical Essays, eds. Caroline Edwards and Tony Venezia. Topic adaptations in 2006. Mieville's short story Details, collected in Looking for Jake, was adapted as a screenplay by Dan Kay and subsequently picked up by the studio Paramount Vantage. In February 2013, a stage adaptation of The City and the City, written by Christopher M. Walsh and directed by Dorothy Milne, made its world premiere at Lifeline Theater in Chicago, Illinois. Mieville attended the 16th of March 2013 production of the adaptation. A television adaptation of the novel The City and the City was broadcast on BBC Two in 2018. 
American artist Mariam Ghani's The City and the City 2015, is a loose adaptation of the novel The City and the City as a video artwork which maps the conceptual framework of that novel onto the cityscape of St. Louis, melding some of the fictions of the novel's world with elements drawn from past and present histories of the city. The short story Estate collected in three moments of an explosion, Stories was adapted into a 20-minute movie, due to be released in 2019. Topic honors His first novel, King Rat, 1998, was nominated for both an International Horror Guild and a Bram Stoker Award. Perdido Street Station won the 2001 Arthur C. Clarke Award and the 2001 British Fantasy Award, and was nominated for the Hugo, Nebula, World Fantasy, Locus and British Science Fiction Awards. The Scar won the 2003 British Fantasy Award and the 2003 Locus Award for Best Fantasy Novel, was nominated for the Hugo, Arthur C. Clarke, World Fantasy, Locus, Philip K. Dick, and British Science Fiction Awards, and received a Philip K. Dick Awards Special Citation. Iron Council won the 2005 Arthur C. Clarke Award and the 2005 Locus Award for Best Fantasy Novel, and was nominated for the Hugo and World Fantasy Awards. Reports of certain events in London, featured in the anthology McSweeney's Enchanted Chamber of Astonishing Stories, was nominated for a 2005 World Fantasy Award and tied for the 2005 Locus Award for Best Novelette. Un Loon Dunn won the 2008 Locus Award for Best Young Adult Book. He has been a guest of honor at multiple science fiction conventions, including Orbital 2008 the British National Science Fiction Convention Eastercon in London and ReaderCon 2006. The City and the City won the 2010 Arthur C. Clarke Award, 2010 Hugo Award, 2009 Kitchies and 2010 World Fantasy Award, as well as being a Nebula Award nominee in the Best Novel category. Embassy Town was nominated for the 2012 Hugo Award for Best Novel. He was a 2018 Guggenheim Fellow in Fiction. <laughs>